So I'm here with Mohammed and Kevin from Physical Impact Kickboxing. And uh, first of all, gents, congratulations on your award. Thank you. And uh, Mohammed, if we can start with you, just give us a brief overview of what the, uh, the business is all about. Okay, so we run a Physical Impact Kickboxing and Fitness Centre across Bradford. Uh, we've currently got four centres running uh, and we, uh, we teach kickboxing to kids from age three all the way up to teenagers. Uh, and part of our programme is we do a, a big life skills programme, so we're not just developing the physical aspect of children, we look after their mental health as well, uh, and we, the skills that we teach them to uh, push through in kickboxing, we then use them, kids, uh, use them skills to, so they can utilise them in their uh, outside life as well. And uh, Kevin, in terms of the, the, the young people who um, come to your sessions, uh, do they come from all sorts of walks of life, different backgrounds, and it is very diverse? Yeah, it's a very diverse background. A lot of people come mainly, um, I don't even know, I don't even know to tell the truth, but yeah, we come from a, a lot of diverse, where we are and where we're based, you get a lot of diverse. And in terms of the reasons why they're there, though, is it is you know some of them just want to uh, improve their fitness, some of them want self defence, or maybe need a bit of discipline. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Some of them are bullied, or some of them got background issues, mm. and mainly it's just to make them relax and find something different to do and you aim. Okay, a new aim. And uh, in terms of that uh, philosophy, Mohammed, that uh, there's a holistic. Uh, nature to, to the philosophy. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about the life skills element of what you do? Yeah, sure. So apart from the uh, teaching them to kick and punch and look after themselves, we help them improve in their communication skills, their uh, their communication skills, also uh, their confidence and their leadership skills as well. Okay. So if they're quite shy, then what we do is we get them to talk to us during the classes as well. So we'll, we'll ask them how the day has been, what they've been doing at school. So just developing their communication skills. And that in turn helps develop their confidence as well. Because then they're working with different people. They've got to talk to us. They've got to talk to each other. And as they're doing teamwork, that's developing their teamwork skills, which will help them outside of, of the martial arts centre. And uh, in terms of uh, the kickboxing side, Kevin, you, you know, the academy's been running for a number of years now. It's developed um, some um, elite kickboxers, hasn't it? Some world champions. Yeah, there's a few world champions what are, we, what are there now. There's mostly the old ones, what our age lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking at them. Yeah, yeah. There's only two of us now what are there. But most of the new kids and the girls that are world champions what are coming up, and that's what we like to see. And that's how we push them, because we want to progress not just for us for the kids and the coaches what and um uh, talking about that, that sort of progress obviously great for parents to see that you're producing world champions in this sort of discipline but also the the sort of the young adults they're developing into as well i suppose absolutely yeah so as uh, kevin pointed out so we've got some young world champions uh, so those who want to compete at higher levels, we have a programme specifically for them where they'll do extra training with us, which includes early morning training before they'll go to school or college. Uh, and we try and instil that within that. If they can work hard with us at the gym, they can work hard in other aspects of their life. So a lot of our young uh, coaches have been with us from a young age and they've been students and now they are passing on their skills and knowledge to the next generation. So it's about always passing on the skills to develop the next generation. Uh, and, you know, if they work hard with us. A lot of our youngsters are now at university or they're at college and they're aspiring to be uh, successful in all parts of their lives, not just at the gym as well. And parents see that uh, and they can then see how it manifests into other aspects of their life for their kids and how it will benefit them. And uh, just finally, you mentioned that you've got a number of venues in Bradford. Can you tell us more about where they're based and uh, when, your, when your sort of sessions take place throughout the week? How often they occur? Yep, so we have uh, we've got places. Uh, we've got one centre in Bingley, a centre in Keefley, and currently we've got two centres in uh, the heart of Bradford. Mm -hmm. um, our classes range from Monday all the way through to Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, we've got classes for three to six year olds, which are our ninja programme, our junior programme, which is for seven to 12 year olds, and then our teens and adult programmes, which is for 13 plus. And we do specific girls only classes with okay. female instructors as well. Fantastic, well congratulations on your award. And thank you very much, both of you for speaking to us today. Brilliant, thank you very much for having Cheers, us. Cheers chaps, thank Cheers. you. Yeah.